Vinfast is one of the most unusual car companies you've ever heard of. It's basically Vietnam's only car company, at least major one, and it came about from a massive property developer. Vinfast first came onto the scene back in 2017. Basically what they did is they took BMWs and turned them into something else. Their first car was a rebodied BMW 530i. The second car was the subcompact Vinfast Fadial and it was a restyled Chevy Spark. Their next car was a limited 500 unit President SUV. President SUV was its actual name and it was a Lux SA with a General Motors V8 under the hood in place of the BMW engine. So basically a BMW with a General Motors V8 engine badged as a VinFast, with a different body as well. Confusing, I know. However, VinFast, F they did well enough to actually take top place in Vietnam's car sales list, which is pretty amazing for a company that didn't actually even start selling cars until 2019. However, they aren't cheap. A based VinFast Lux SA 2.0 retails at the equivalent of more than 68000 US dollars. And incredibly, that's about the third of what the cost of an imported BMW X5 would be in Vietnam. In July of 2022, the recently cancelled Lux A 2.0 doubled the Vietnamese sales figures of the Kia K5, the Toyota Camry, the Mazda 6, and the Honda Accord all put together combined. And then, amazingly, they cancelled it. VinFast planned to sell cars in 2021 in the US, but that didn't happen. In fact, VinFast bought hundreds of acres of land in Australia and leased some of the biggest automotive facilities in the country because they were going to manufacture cars in Australia. They even hired people that I know. Then they fired them and sold off all of their Australian assets. In January of 2022, VinFast announced its intentions to end production of internal combustion vehicles and shift to a full EV strategy. A fart a smart decision, I think. Gone would be the BMW and General Motors based designs and the GM engines, the V8s, replaced with electric vehicles developed from the ground up by VinFast. The company actually got talent from General Motors employees who actually worked on the Ultium platform. I'm not really sure that was the wisest decision, but yeah, that's what they did. However, the brand had an incredibly short period for developing these cars. It was putting immense pressure on its employees to get electric vehicle production started as quickly as possible. In fact, they were able to show a full line of EV concept cars at CES in January of 2022. And the brand said it would stop selling internal combustion engine vehicles by the end of the year, despite only introducing its first models in 2019. At that time, VinFast said it would have at least two fully electric models, the VF8 and the VF9, on American roads by the end of 2022. Then by early July, the brand opened its first retail locations in California. The company had already put one electric car called the VinFast E34 for sale on the Vietnamese car market. And that was only three months after it announced it had stopped producing gasoline-powered vehicles sort of similar to what BYD did. In fact, by the middle of the year, last year, the company stopped taking orders for gasoline powered vehicles, period, even though they were selling really well. But VinFast is just one division of many divisions underneath the giant multi-billion dollar conglomerate known as Vin Group, and it's headed by one very powerful man. His name is Pham Nat Vong and he was born in 1968. He grew up in Hanoi. He graduated in 1992 from Russia's Moscow Geological Prospecting University, and Fan made his fortune mass-producing instant noodles in an enterprise that was eventually sold to Nestle. Eventually, he expanded into real estate, building a business that turned him into Vietnam's first billionaire. So Vin Group now has businesses all over Vietnam. 
Yulopnik says, you might buy groceries at Vinmart and clothing at Vin Plaza. Your family vacations might be at a Disney style Vin Wonder theme park. Or you might book a holiday at one of their number of resorts across Vietnam, which are really mainly intended for tourists more than anything else from overseas. However, they also have hospitals. They have schools and they also even have universities called Vin University. You can see why the cars sold so well. Vin is a brand that everyone in Vietnam knows and knows very well. And VinFast is very good at doing one thing, raising capital. Investors seem to just be confident in the Vin brand. A fresh round of funding for the Vietnamese EV maker has seen $2.5 billion secured to facilitate its expansion into global car markets. The new round of funding comes days after the latest shipment of cars comes days after the latest shipment of its electric cars made its way to the United States and also to Canada. The additional funding will assist the company in expanding into other foreign territories with launches planned in France, Germany, and the Netherlands later this year. Now the company's hoping to raise a further $2 billion and they estimate they are worth $60 billion. In other words, VinFast is saying that their car division is worth more than General Motors, more than Ford, without ever having really done much. However, they do have a new car and it looks kind of cute. It's called the VF3 and a lot of motoring journalists seem to be fawning over it, even though it doesn't yet exist. This tiny affordable electric car will one day become the national vehicle of Vietnam, according to its manufacturers. VinFast has taken the wraps off its latest vehicle. And I've got to say, it does look pretty cool. I like it. It features a very boxy design. It's got two doors, enough room for five passengers, and it's considered a mini car. It's like a basically the size of a key car from Japan or something like the Wheeling Hongline Mini EV. It's only 3.1 meters long. That's 3,114 millimeters or 122.5 inches, meaning it's only 2.5 inches longer than one of the original Mini cars. The Mini, very small, right? Yeah. VinFast say that the car will be powered by an electric motor and a battery pack, but it doesn't say how big the battery will be or anything about the motor. In fact, we have very little information. That said, VinFast says it will be its biggest seller. You can see why. The company is based in Southeast Asia, and this should be a very affordable car. I think it's a car that will resonate with a lot of people. VinFast has huge aspirations for the VF3. Thanks to its noise-free operation, environmental friendliness, and most importantly, high safety standards, the VF3 has the potential to be Vietnam's new national vehicle for the Vietnamese people and possibly also one of its biggest exports. Now, like I said, I have to say, I really like this car, but VinFast's electric vehicle strategy internationally is a bit baffling. For example, when you buy a VinFast EV, which you can right now in the US, you have to buy it, the battery separately on a rental basis. So you rent the battery and pay a monthly subscription fee. And if you want to, then you can decide what battery size you want. It's a kind of a nice idea but it is expensive. It works out being more expensive than buying a Tesla after a few years of ownership. Now, I personally think VinFast strategy isn't gonna work. I think people want upfront pricing. They wanna know what they're getting and they wanna understand the product. VinFast product is even confusing to many journalists. So either way, this company has had a very interesting history and has produced EVs in probably the fastest time from going from concept or idea to concept to production than any company in history that I've heard of anyway. I don't know of any other car company that's been able to operate at the speed that VinFast does. They seem to do everything at lightning pace. This company is actually pretty amazing. Let me know your thoughts in the comments. Thanks for watching.